Hello my darlings, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a skincare routine. So I'll show my day to night. I do use a lot, so this video might take a while. But I just thought I'd show you everything that I use and the brands that I love. I'm going to start with how I use everything, so cleanse tone, my oils, acids, moisturiser, blah blah blah. So first up, I have been using recently this new cleanser from Dermalogica. This is the Active Clay Cleanser for oily skin. And I've been using it for about a week and a half now and I absolutely love it. It's so nice and soft on your skin. It smells amazing. I've just run out of my usual cleanser, which is the Kiehl's one, which I'll link below as well. So if you're looking for something more exfoliating, you know if you need a little bit of a bit of an exfoliation, your skin's feeling a bit bumpy and you just need a bit of a glow. This is fab, the body shop, I love it. So I've been using this for years, this one. So this is the Daily Glow Cleansing Polish, Vitamin C. And it's really soft on your skin. I use it in the shower, you know, just in the morning. And you know what, it's really affordable as well because body shop stuff's fab and it's got no nasty stuff in it, which we love. Another cleanser that I use is the Espa one. This one is a little bit more expensive, but it's got Moringa seed extract in it and these like jojoba beads. I can never say that. Jojoba. Yeah. Which is like, um, which cleanses the skin and exfoliates it as well. And that is fab. You can also use it as a mask. So it's like a great all-rounder to use. So they're my cleansers at the moment. I've actually narrowed those down, which I'm proud of myself because I do have a few more, but like I said, I'll link the Kiehl's one below that I use. So we're going on to toners. Pixie is amazing. I've been using this for years, the Glow Tonic. So this has 5% glycolic acid and is an exfoliating toner. I find it just makes my skin really glowy and I just love it, and it doesn't feel harsh on my skin either. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative though, I also have been using the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. So this is 7%, so this one is a little bit higher, and I would recommend to use this one in the evening. One thing I should point out about using Glycolic Acid though is make sure you wear sun protection because it does have alpha hydroxy acid in it, which makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. So make sure you're using that Fact 50. Talking of sun creams, this is the one I use. So this is the Heliocare 360 Factor 50 Protection Cream. This is amazing. I find it doesn't go sticky. It's not heavy like other sun creams. I know like your foundation and stuff has like Factor 15 and stuff in it, but I always wanna just have that extra protection on my skin. And this is great. It's got a really lightweight formula as well. It almost looks like um, tinted moisturizer. So you can see there, and it's really lightweight and just absorbs right into the skin. So and it smells like holiday, which we love. So yeah, love that one. Wear Fact 50, guys. You'll thank me when you're 50. Oh, I've lost my train of thought. Where am I? Cleanse, tone. Right, before I moisturise, I use my acids and oils. So you'll have seen on my recent vlog that I'm obsessed with The Ordinary love their stuff it's cheap they're honest on the website about what's in it cruelty free it's great i've just run out of hyaluronic acid which your skin produces anyway it's basically adding more moisture to your skin is what hyaluronic acid does so this is a more uh, lightweight version so this is marine hyaluronics so if you're a little bit wary of using hyaluronic acid i'd start off with this one i just got both because i wanted to try both and they do the same thing really but this one's just a little bit more concentrated this is my holy grail i have gone through about four bottles of this stuff i love it and it works so this is niacinamide and it basically gets rid of all those pesky bumps that you get on your head like so all your congestion like here here especially time of the month as well so if you've got any spots like under the skin spots put this on and i swear to you by morning it'll have gone down or it'll have vanished and yeah this stuff is fab i absolutely love it i use it every day morning and evening you don't have to you can just do morning or evening either it says on the back so yeah that stuff's great if you're prone to oily skin you can usually put it here 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 and here as well if you suffer with a lot of oil in your skin i know i've got makeup on but i suffer with really like purple skin under my eyes i get really bad bags a lot of blood sits 
under my eyes as I was told when I went for a facial so that's just something I have you guys might have it or not but this stuff is great for getting rid of like puffiness and reduces like pigmentation so this again is the ordinary and this is the caffeine solution and you just put a few drops here and around the eye area and I find that's that's amazing especially if you've had like an awful night's sleep and you just need something to get rid of that puffiness or you've had a little cry this is great I never pronounced this brand hang on Omoravica I think Omoravica I'm just gonna google it can't even bloody spell it this is the co-founder okay she's not gonna say it right now I've just googled how to pronounce it because I don't know how to pronounce this brand Omar Avixa. So this is a little bit more of like a luxury skincare brand. Um, I've been using the eye cream for quite a while now and I really, really like it. But if you are looking for something more of a cheaper alternative, this would be great. This is great even. So this is another one of my favourites. This is Buffet from The Ordinary and it's basically a peptide serum and it's an anti-aging um, serum. It soaks right into your skin. I love using it alongside like my vitamin C or my niacinamide and my hyaluronic acid. So I use those three together and this is fab. So all I do is get a few drops, squeeze here, here, here and here and just rub it all in. And then each of these all sit together nicely. So buffet, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, they work really well together. Another one I love to use is vitamin C. So this is the vitamin C in spheres. So this is, it's got a weird like tingling texture when you put it on. The only thing I would not recommend this using with is niacinamide. For some reason, when you put them together, it goes like a putty like chewing gum. So don't use them two together. Either use this in the morning or the evening without the niacinamide. If you're looking for another form of like vitamin C to brighten up your skin, there's this new brand that's just come to the UK. It's a Polish brand and it's called, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Iolab? Oh, Iolab. Anyway, I've been using this. So this is the brightening treatment with vitamin C. So again, this is vegan, cruelty free, which is great. And it comes out like this. So it's a really diluted oil it is quite greasy at first so don't use too much but once it's all sunk into your skin it feels amazing and you'll wake up feeling so glowy another one of theirs that i use is the seven wonders which is a botanical smoothing treatment so this one again is like an anti-aging one and it just smooths your skin this is great for like your neck as well because i always find i get like crease lines in my neck so i always use this on the evening and i wake up and my skin feels amazing so that one's a new one for you all to try. I think that's it for my oils. I told you I had a lot, but it's worth it. Right, my moisturiser. This is the Espar Skin Radiance Moisturiser. I just love Espar stuff. Super lightweight and it goes so nicely underneath makeup as well. I would highly recommend trying this one. So for my nighttime routine, it doesn't really change. It's pretty much the same. As we're in lockdown and not a lot of us are wearing makeup, we do want a bit of a glow. So I've been using this mixed with my Espar moisturiser, which is the Tan Lux Illuminating Drops. And this is the lightweight one, uh, sorry, the light medium one. So you can use one to four drops. So I put about three in just to give myself a light glow, which lasts like all week. I love it. And it just makes you, it doesn't sink into your pores either. So it just gives you a lovely like holiday glow. I usually apply it in the evening and then you wake up in the morning and you feel oh, you look all glowy. If you're a Central Pay fan like me, they've brought out a new range called Purity Vitamins and this little like gel formula also feels amazing on your skin. Plus it's got added vitamin C and D. It makes you feel glowy and again doesn't get into your pores. So that is a good one to use if you don't like to use the tan drops. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me do um, an ad with Averglow recently, and I've used them for over a year now, and I love the brand. So this is Clear Skin Elixir. It's a little mask, and you can sleep in it. It's really lightweight, and it doesn't stain your pillows either. So this is like the texture of it, and it goes super light, and then it dries. So it's like a, what's it called? Pink clay mask. I honestly put this on my spots in the evening, wake up the next morning and they're gone. It is the best mask I've ever used and for treating spots quickly, it's amazing. So this is like, this is coming in my bag with me to the wedding because if I get a spot the night before, this stuff will make it go. It's great, I love it. Cannot recommend that enough. And it smells insane as well. Oh, I love it. That's my 
facial skincare routine. I'm going to show you some stuff that I use on my body now as well. So after I've had a shower, I love to moisturise. Or if it's in the evening after a bath, I use like body oil. After a shower, I usually use the Garnier Intensive 7 Days um, Probiotic and Coconut Milk Moisturiser. I love coconut and this smells unbelievable. It's nearly all gone now as well. Skin has been amazing every time I use it, so I love Garnier and I love that. So another option is the Body Shop Sheer Body Lotion. I do prefer the lotions as I do find the butters a little bit too sticky sometimes, whereas these just sink into your skin and are really, really nice and soft and this smells amazing too. So that is another option if you don't fancy the Garnier one. After I've had a bath, I like to use either a moisturiser or an oil and this stuff, oh my word, it smells insane. So this is Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Sleep Well Nourishing Cream and it's got chamomile in it and sandalwood and it's perfect for putting on after a bath in the evening, um, putting your moisturiser on, getting into bed and falling to sleep. I had the best night's sleep the other night when I used that, so yeah, love it. And again, my trusty Esper. This is the Restorative Body Oil. This is insane. I love this, as you can tell. I'm on like the last few bits. Oh, I love it so much. It smells beautiful. All of Espar's stuff. It honestly just smells like a spa. This one is for rebalancing and calm. It's got orange, rose geranium and lavender in it. So this is super to use before you go to sleep as well. So I usually use a few drops on my arms, on my legs and on my chest as well. Because when you go to sleep, if you have it there, it smells amazing. That's it. <laughs> Sorry that was a bit long. I do use a lot of products, but that's what I'm using at the moment and what I'm currently loving. And there's a lot of things in there that I've used for a while that I'll continue to use and things that I'm trying out. So I'll maybe do another one of these in a couple months and update you all on where I'm at with my skin. But at the minute, I'm loving it. Isolation is helping very much because I'm not wearing um, much makeup apart from today. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed guys and if you've got any questions just comment below and I'll happily give you some advice. But yeah, take care. See you soon.